So what I wanted to talk about today was uh, should you buy a 3D printer? And if you're watching this video or any of the other ones, you're thinking about it. There's just some things you need to understand about 3D printing. Um, hopefully some of what I'm about to share with you will help you uh, make your mind whether this is a hobby for you or not. Uh, there is no such thing as trouble-free 3D printing. Not forever. Uh, machines are a lot better now than when I got into this. Uh, they uh, set up a lot faster uh, and they last quite a bit longer out of the gate before you have to start fixing them or something goes wrong. So I guess if you're the type of person that likes to fix things, fix them when they break, uh, learn how to fine tune them. Um, you know, if you like to tinker with things, then definitely 3D printing is for you. Because not only is it fun, uh, doing the 3D prints and once you get into the design aspect of it in the, in the software, uh, it's all really, uh, it opens up a whole new level of fun. But what uh, I want folks to understand uh, I get asked a lot of times, uh, what 3D printer should I buy? And I never answer that question straightforward. I don't ever say, go buy brand X, go buy brand Y. Uh, instead, I share with folks uh, some of the websites I go to for reviews. Uh, the YouTube channels are great. Um, there's a lot of information out there and that I've learned a lot along the way. Uh, so if you wanted to get into 3D printing, you could get one like this. Uh, this is the CR6 Max, uh, which it does not come very good stock. I think we paid uh, seven or eight hundred dollars for this, and then we ended up having to upgrade the hot end and the extruder. Uh, and then once we installed, we did some a, a bed leveling upgrade and installed the community firmware. Once we got all that done, uh, it is a really nice running printer. Uh, I mainly bought this one because it had a 400 by 400 by 400 uh, on X, Y, and Z. So I could print some really large items on this. Uh, now that I have it tuned in, it's, it's absolutely great. I love this printer. Uh, another one that just showed up today is the Anycubic Cobra. And this is probably the first new printer I've bought in a couple of years. Uh, this is really cool. So I, I bought this one because it is direct drive. Uh, this one is not. This one has a extruder back here, which is pushing the filament through that tube and then down into the print head. This one does not. There's your filament. Your filament comes straight down, goes right in. The extruder is built in right on top of the print head, uh, which means you can print at a little bit faster speed. Your quality prints will probably be a little bit better because uh, you're not trying to press filament through a tube that tends to mess up the timing of the flow. You know, 3D printing is all about timing and the amount of flow coming out at the exact rate and the exact time to create something. And the more things that are in the way, like Bowden tube, it's very reliable. I've printed a ton uh, of objects on the Bowden tube. To be honest, this is my first direct drive printer. Uh, so I'm gonna be kind of curious what kind of things we can get into. Um, you know, should be able to print <clears throat> things that, that are TPU filament, which is a little bit more uh, rubbery, silicone-like. Um, so when you get ready to buy a 3 you could probably spend all the way up to a couple of thousand dollars and get a really nice one that's going to work for a long time right out of the box. The problem with going that direction is you don't get the opportunity to learn very much 
along the way. Uh, the cool part about learning how to fix them, how to identify, troubleshoot, figure out what's wrong, is when something does go wrong, it doesn't take me very long to figure out what happened and what do I need to do to fix it. Um, but like I said, if you do like to tinker with things, you could get something just this CR6 Max. Now I'm not saying go get this one. You know, one of the main things you need to do to decide which one you want to buy is get on Facebook. And there are groups out there. I joined a group called CR6 SE slash Max Facebook group. <clears throat> Before I ever bought this, I joined that group. And I read the posts every time somebody posted something or I would ask questions. Uh, you know, you want to make sure whatever 3D printer you buy, there's a, a good community, uh, enough people that are in there also that are willing to help other people. Because uh, all of us get stuck. All of us need help uh, figuring things out from time to time. So, you know, I was thinking of buying the CR6 Max, so I joined that group, the CR6 group. Uh, did a bunch of readings, so I learned all of the pitfalls. <clears throat> so I knew exactly what to expect um, when I got it. Uh, did the same thing with the Cobra Viper. As well as I belong to some bigger just 3D printing groups in general. Um, you know, anything you like with 3D printing uh, is out there. There's a lot of help in the groups. So just make sure there's a good community base behind what you're buying. Uh, there's absolutely some 3D printers that you can buy. Um, that may not be the way to go. Not for Not if you're new getting into it. Um, you know, but if you've got a little bit under your belt, maybe buying those cheaper ones and upgrading it to how you like it, it, may, it could be worth doing. But if you're brand new getting into the hobby, um, ask yourself the question, should I buy one? Because every 3D printer at some point is going to fail. It's going to have belts wear out. Um, uh, it's going to have, um, nozzles get clogged all kind of things extruders will fail um, so just if if you're just looking to only press a button and get a 3d print this is probably not the right hobby for you because you can you can buy a very expensive printer that will do that but then once uh, something starts to go wrong you're Years down the road, um, you're stuck with a printer you paid a few thousand dollars for that you have no idea how to work on, uh, that you really don't enjoy working on, and that's going to cause you some headaches. So before you even start looking at 3D printers, answer yourself that question. Uh, and then if it's something you do want to get into, then jump forward into some of the Facebook groups. Uh, join the ones for some printers you might be looking at getting because there is a whole lot of options out here. Um, there's, you know, direct drives on, on, the, on the Anycubic Cobra. There's heated beds. There's, this one has a magnetic PEI sheet. It's a flexible sheet that just peels off that makes it easy. Uh, this one is glass. So on this one, as long as the heat's still here, the print stays in place. Once it cools off, it comes off very easily. Um, these are much harder to calibrate and get dialed in, but once you do, it's great. Um, these sheets are much more forgiving for the beginner. Um, so a lot of things to look at. The biggest thing is do your research. Um, do your research on these. Join the groups or the forums or, or whatever it is and take your time. Don't rush into it. Understand that things are going to go wrong. Um, guarantee they will. But uh, if you like solving problems and, and fixing them, this could be very well exactly what you like. Uh, we have here now. I have a third one in a box. 
uh, out in the kitchen that I got to go get put together because uh, it's Christmas season and we're starting printing uh, lithophane Christmas bells. So nothing super long. Uh, just wanted to share my thoughts on whether you should buy a 3D printer. And everybody take care. We'll talk to you all later.